Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome to Dead Cells. Specifically, we're doing a modded run here in the interests... ...interests of, uh, testing... ...the abilities of our various weapons. And also in the interests... Heck, do, do we have anything that are, like, just free... Tactics, because I want as I want to be as pure tactics as possible for this, because we're we're gonna die one way or the other if we get hit. What was this? Deflector destroys all near. Yeah, it's an interesting mod. It basically, lets us fight enemies. They're all at the same like tier as the hand of the king, apparently. So we're also underwater. Makes us move. Vi Hello there, training dummy. You know. You have a very disturbing smile on your face that just, just does not sit well with me. Anyway. Yeah, we're just gonna grab all these. This might take a while, so I'm gonna, I'll see you shortly. Alrighty then. So here we are in a, like, completely ridiculous setup of health here. Oh wow, actually. Yeah, we can do, uh, like, an ungodly amount of damage now, but it also occurs to me that it might be better to use a non-cursed sword. Um, let's see here. What is a good weapon that does a fair amount of damage, but is also a tactics weapon? Let's see here. Tactics, tactics, tactics. This is a bit slow, but that is a lot of damage. A bit faster. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go with the marksman's bow. I, I. It's a bit of a, a bit of a cop out. I know. I mean, you were probably all looking forward to seeing me do stuff with the cursed sword, but the point of this is like at this level of stats, everything should, in theory, be able to one shot me. And I just want to like, or at least come close to one shotting me. So I want to. I want to get a feel for how accurate that actually is. And also just to see if we can one-shot any bosses here. Alright. If I, uh, yeah, just climb back up. Oh, there's an invisible wall there. Alright. On to the boss. I and mean, we've got a lot of health. But it's probably not going to be enough. Oh my god, that, like... That should have one-shot him, you'd think. But no. Of course, even the ice bow is, like, destroying this guy, so... Yeah. I mean, like, I do know that bosses, obviously, scale, and they're supposed to scale. Uh, this would make- this would require me to get really close. I don't want to do that. Anyway, so yeah, here, here is where we are with our life. It is good. It is a good life we've got. So now we have to go through a maze, apparently. An amazing maze. The best kind of maze. Anyway, yeah, so I guess the lesson here is that it doesn't matter how high your stats. I mean, I guess, like I understand bosses scaling of stats. That just makes sense. They should scale a certain amount, but is it truly going to, like, is it truly scaling in a, a fash, or a fashion that's going to, yeah, like, hurt us more than it helps us? You know, I bet there's a mod somewhere also. Did you notice there was a secret area off to the side we could have rolled into there? All right. Yeah, we'll upgrade that to S rank. That to plus plus. So we have even more, just even more ridiculousness. Um, let's see, we want support right off the bat. And then we'll go for the, uh, the uh, close thingy. All right, good, so we've got him. Skip pat, actually, wait, 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 we can actually, no, that's, I keep forgetting that, uh, they still never added the ability to be able to upgrade multiple times, which, I really don't like, but, you know, it is what it is. Door has to be open from somewhere else. 
Oh, do I have? Oh, I have actually got one more mutation available. Gotcha. Let's see. Uh, I think. I mean, 30% more health. Not bad. Let's see here. A non melee attack. Melee attack on nearby enemy with a projectile stuck on it, but we have no melee weapons. Extra damage if there's no enemy near us. Yeah, let's go with that, just because that should lead to even more ridiculous damage, probably, maybe. And also, I'm pretty confident that we're basically dead anyway. If so much as a nick hits us, so there is that. Alright. Are you- are you almost dead or is the game just, uh... No, no, no. Do you just not have health? Holy balls. And like, actually almost one shot killed me. That's ridiculous. Um, you are gonna die at some point, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've got to be honest, that is... That does seem to confirm the whole enemy scaling, because it basically wiped out my entire health bar in one go. Alright, so let, let's try this again. Uh, if we, uh, like, same, same weapon layout, but if we only pick up the exact amount of health that would, uh, yeah, get us maximum tactical benefit or minimum I actually kind of think maybe we want a tornado and a death orb all right so we're actually already over over our uh, maximum ideal limit so we probably want something that gives us yeah in order to maximize our health all right that that seems that seems about right, actually, right there. So we don't need any of this. Actually, no, you know what? Let's, let's uh, scientifically do this exactly. So we want eight, um, eight brutality. And 13 survival. And if we have that, we will know for sh we'll, like, we'll get a, a feel for things. Of course, then again, I guess that means we should be doing this as a tactics. Oh, and I went a little bit too far there. Anyway, or I guess a survival run would be the best, but I want to get a feel for this. Like, how much damage we're taking relative to how much damage we're dealing, all other things being equal. And again, I mean a survival... Oh, right, I forgot. This is actually a survival weapon. Alright, so we should actually see things at maximum efficiency here, which is good. All right, but everything else is the same. We're good. We've got it. Let's see how this works out for us. Got to remember to do a rule there at the bottom so that we don't end up getting stunned. All right. I'm thinking in retrospect, wolf traps might have been better. Maybe I also should have kept the turrets as well. That might have... Also, uh, you know, balanced things out a little bit here. We definitely would be killing him faster. That's what I'm getting from this. Ah, dang it. I didn't quite roll in time. My own fault. Of course. Oh, dear. Yeah, please, j just sit there until your energy beam goes away, please. And then we'll just kind of go over here. Make your day terrible. That's just how we rule, apparently. Alright, you see, this is, this is good. This is nice. I like this. No, no, no. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah. There we go. See? This is good. There we go. He slowed down again. But we like to see. Alright. 
Now remember, the goal here, keep all of our things equal. The only thing we're going to attempt to change is, of course, our stats. A legendary meat skewer might actually be good. Why, why do I even care about the money? We can't do anything with it on this run. All right. So let's see how things end up looking against the assassin. I, I've got a good feeling about this. I mean, damage-wise, we're pretty much... We're on point here. It's looking pretty good for us. And again, nothing else is going to change. Only difference in this run is that we are... Yeah, trying to maximize... The efficiency of our... Our stats. And where, oh, where is the boss room? Why do I have to go through this whole... Whole thing? I thought it was just boss rush. You've, you've immensely disappointed me, boss rush mode. You're not boss rush enough. Hmm. Also, apparently I picked... Oh, that's right. I did knowingly pick up... There's no shop whatsoever. But we get shopkeeper music, so at least... At least we get to feel loved. Just a little bit. Poor fellow. All right. Conjunctivious, because I missed the rushed boss rush this time. Oh, well. We, you know, we still get to fight someone. And that's always fun. All right. Let's see here. Um, you know, I got, I'm going to try to reforge this so that maybe... Okay, well, I was hoping that we'd get more damage with... Um, let's see. So efficiency. And then, uh, yeah, we get to pick our other two. So the other two will be the same ones as last time. Get a feel for how much damage we're able to dish out. Versus how much damage we take. And so far, so good, honestly. So, support and tranquility. So, yeah, both of those are actually considerably less good at this point. Also, since uh, the Hand of the King has, like, you can only do 5% of his max health and damage per hit. Anyway, it does occur to me that that actually means that really fast weapons are probably better against him. So, once again, we find ourselves in an awkward position dead cells where slow weapons get the short end of the stick. Yeah, look, look how little damage that did to us. Good job facing the wrong direction, Gaslight. I would say that this... This, uh... Like, we are... out. Like, we are going faster, I think. And... Relatively speaking, we're we're definitely taking less damage. This guy still takes 10 million years to kill, of course. But yeah, like look at that. That barely even scratched us. So there is a, a very obvious difference compared to what we were looking at before. Yeah, let's just send this back the other way. Nicely done. All right. There we go. Then we just roll out of the way. Freeze him again. To at least slow him down. Nicely done. Nicely done. Life is but our oyster now. Or, it, life is something, at any rate. Nicely done. Though, unfortunately, we ended up missing out on the ridiculousness. Oh, that was beautiful. Wasn't that beautiful? I thought that was beautiful. Alright, so now we just need to get them to be come over here, to the other direction. Again, make things nice and efficient out. Yeah, and if we can get them to roll through the death orb, then we are sitting pretty. All right, boop, boop. Do that to make sure we slow him down. Roll out of the way. Freeze him up again, or at least slow him down. 
Oh. Yeah, we're chipping away at him. In a very, very reasonable fashion, which I like. That's good. Make sure he stays slow. And again, victory is ours. Yeah, if we can keep that tentacle slow, we should be able to, yeah, just, like, buzzsaw right through him. Yeah. That's the key. We gotta keep these guys going slow. And then basically, yeah. That's how you do it. That's how you win. I mean, yeah, look at this. He's like barely, barely done any damage to us at the end of the day, like. Ow. So I would say we're winning at this point, like, yeah. And definitely just goes to show how the, uh, the scaling seems to work in the game, which, like, we can kill enemies faster, but we die also so much faster that it's, like, not, not worth the extra gains, I think. Which I think is kind of stupid, personally. But, you know, that's just my opinion, man, and... Not saying my opinion is right, but I am saying my opinion is right. All right, so there goes Conjunctivius there. All right, what kind of legendary weapon did we get? I mean, it's not bad. Overall, that actually is probably, probably better because on average, we're gonna be doing more damage. Plus there's the whole burning thing. Or, what is this? Does this just let us go straight to the hand of the king? It does, but we want to fight the timekeeper because we want to compare our last run versus this run. Of course, last run, the timekeeper's health kind of kind of got all messed up. But that is entirely besides the point. Hmm. You know what? To be honest, these things are all good as is. All right, we haven't needed to use any healing juices yet, so that's that's a plus. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, but yeah, what are your thoughts on all this? Since, like, enemies probably do need to scale, but should they scale the way they do, where, like, actively picking up more skills seems to eventually get to a point where it actively harms you? Especially since uh, enemies like the Hand of the King have a, a damage cap that kind of renders more damage useless anyway. I mean, like, we literally end up handicapping ourselves by choosing. Out. Good job. Masterfully done. Oh, oh, oh. Almost got away with that, too. I would have got away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Nope. Yeah, actually, you know, now that I think about it, she's done almost no damage to us, or at least no damage that's, uh, like, worth mentioning. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over here. Oh, dear. Nope. Okay, she's done some damage, worth mentioning. But yeah, she's considerably less chunky and hard than, uh... Ow. Don't do me like that. Yeah, see? Look at that. Took her out much faster. Balanced blade. Tempting, but again, I mean, I guess... Why, why am I even bothering to pick up this money? What does the money really do for us? Not much, honestly. Alright, so under the hand of the king. Good guy, good guy. Alright, now this is where... This is where, I guess, the real... The real challenge begins. Hmm. 
Let's see here. Is there anything we could do that would be better for what we've got? I mean, a little extra damage if we heal. That would probably be more useful than, than this. Actually, to be honest, both of these do end up being kind of useless. I'm sure these used to be considerably better. Maybe they got nerfed. I mean, more ammo and more health might be better. You know what? No. For consistency, let's just keep what we have and we'll we'll see where things end up going. A well-prepared journey is the key to success. Of course, we do have a, a chance to now go back and change our mind. But no, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with what we've got. I feel it's the right course of action. Maybe. Possibly. Could be. No one really knows what he eats. He probably eats the corpses of all the dead people. Or since he's well yeah, look at that. There's a bunch of skulls right there. See, he eats the he eats all the dead people. Come on. Hit him up, hit him up. There we go. Yeah, that's, like... Honestly, given how... Oh, come on, don't be a jerk. Oh, come on, I rolled over that. Or did I? Apparently not. Oh, dear. Wait, what actually hit me? Because I saw myself get hit there, but... Ow, you know what? I'm just gonna... Heal here in the poison pool, because apparently that actually makes sense. Against all logic and reason. I gotta remember to jump when he does that. I mean, we are, uh... Oh, boy. Yeah, gotta stay behind him. Yeah, he's doing almost no damage to me. This is ridiculous. And combined with the knowledge that, um... Yeah, combined with the knowledge that... Oh, I can actually freeze the hand from up there. Interesting. Yeah, combined with the knowledge that, apparently... Yeah, we can only do up to 5% damage per swing. Why would I ever pick more health? Or, like, go for more damage? Because it doesn't help us. Oh god. Oh dear. Yeah, slow your roll there, King Dude. Yeah. Kind of ridiculous, I says. Oh dear. Yeah, like, look at this. I can just, like, tank his hits. Alright, I've got to be honest. This is... This revelation has actually... Rather upset me. I have I have to say, like the fact that I'm just sitting here eating hit after hit after hit. When the reality should be something a little different, I would think. I don't know. I never did like the hand, to be honest, compared to the other boss fights in the game. There was always something about him that just felt wrong. The fact that I apparently can just sit here and do this, it yeah, like, look at this. This is cheesy as heck. How am I getting away with this? Yeah, that's just ridiculous. Oh, and I can't, I can't sell it. You know what, let's switch over to it, though. Because why not? Alright, off we go. Hey there, king dude. Doing kingly stuff. Ooh, healy water. Oh, wait. What, what do we do now? Um, do I, do I kill the king? Oh, I do! Okay, this is new. But why would I kill the king? What did the king really do to me? 
Ah, you know what? I'll go ahead and kill you anyway. Ooh, ending cutscene. Dramatic. And... Kurt Plunk. Nicely done. Ooh, I wonder if there, it would be different if we used it, or if we had picked up a different weapon. Probably not. I like it, though. Nicely done. Kind of funny in a way that we should be beating the game for the first time in a mod, but uh, all right, yeah. Ah, yes, it's been quite a journey, hasn't it? It's been about a year since Dead Cells first uh, appeared on the channel, and well, a little more than a year. It was back in June, I think. It's been quite a ride, hasn't it? Seen a lot of uh, awesome developments. It's been cool following this game pretty much since the beginning. Not the very beginning, but like since it started getting out into the hands of people. It was really cool. I'm, I'm actually glad I got the chance to follow the development of this game with you guys. It was pretty awesome. Also, I love the fact that there's now mod support, Twitch integration, all these cool little quality of life features. And there's also a certain... A certain something here, isn't there? I mean, now that the king's dead, what's next? Because, like, at the end of the day, the king was just sitting there, so... Kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? What was the king really doing? Was he- did he really deserve to die? And why did we want to kill him? Questions, questions, but there's gonna be, like, a, a pretty major... Uh, like, free DLC sometime this fall, I believe, is when, uh... When Motion Twin has said it's going to be coming out, it's going to add some new levels, some new bosses, new items. Just new cool stuff all around. I look forward to that, honestly, myself. Hopefully you're all looking forward to that as well. Since no doubt it'll expand on the story. And then from that, of course, we can look forward to any additional DLCs to continue expanding the game and giving us more. I hope the free DLC finally lets us go to the repository of the architects, though. I've been waiting for that for... It feels like a year now, honestly. I mean, when did the repository first get teased at? It was when the graveyard got added, if I recall. Was it? Was it when the graveyard was added? Or it was... Or was it when, it was when the sepulcher got added in, and then it was added as a teaser to the end of the graveyard that we couldn't actually get to, and then it's basically just been teased ever since. And we could, like, briefly get there during... One of the updates, I think it was when the Assassin got added? No, maybe it was when the Hand of the King first got added. It was while it was still in the Alpha branch. Where we could go in there, and there was some stuff, but we couldn't actually get past the door, and the only way to end the run at that point was to kill ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know what's behind that door, dang it. And also the door in the starting room. I don't think, uh... I don't think, since I haven't heard anyone mentioning it on any of the various places for Dead Cells news and discussion that I browse. Haven't heard anything about it. So it's very... That's another mystery that we have to excitedly wait for, I guess. But anyway, yeah. This was good. It was also interesting, I guess, just in, with this particular run, to just kind of see how, like, keeping our stats low actually seemed to be far more beneficial than... Like, having our stats high, which, personally, I think that's, like, if it is working the way I am, like, I appear to see it working, I think that's, like, the one bad game design, uh, bit that exists in the game right now. Like, I understand why it exists, and enemies do need to scale to a certain extent in order to, like, keep the challenge from, you know, just running away with it, but I, I would feel, almost, that the answer would be to just maybe have less stat scrolls in the game. Since... There, nothing in-game, except, I guess, like, you know, just your own, like, eyeballs, let you know that, yeah, that that's even a thing. So, it's interesting. It's interesting, I don't like it, but aside from that, like, everything else about Dead Cells is just a joy to play. And if you don't have the game yourself yet, you should totally pick it up. I'm pretty sure it's still on sale uh, for, like, you know, it's big 1.0 celebration. Which, yeah, you know, it's definitely worth your time. And, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say, but I, I feel like we should keep things going until the credits finish rolling, so... Let us, uh... You know, let's just sit here and enjoy the music a little. I think I'll, uh... Maybe I'll fast-forward the credits a bit, 
and then, yeah, we'll, we'll see things at the end, because surely, surely there is an epilogue hint here at the end. Oh ho, what's this? Actual, actual gameplay. So our body is, ooh. Like just squish up walls. Intriguing. Most intriguing. Also there's a skeleton. Oh, I see. So we just, we go down the drain again. Or, or something. Whee! Oh, here we go. So, we kill the king, but then our body gets destroyed, and we end up going back down to the sewers. But yeah, with that in mind, I would like to say at this point, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.